maybe increase your angle a little bit, not too much. So that's enough for the ends for starting. So the, the grain is going this way. This way. Can you see the crack in the wood right here? It tells you the grain is going this way. So start here, go this way. If you start chiseling here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come in. So study my hands. One hand up here. This hand is carefully guiding that in. Splitting the line. So we, we want to split that line. This side the grain is going both directions. This way. When in doubt, just begin with caution. So what's easier to spread, frozen butter or <laughs> same? This is less like butter now. And that's the hardest wood to chisel is end grain. Okay? Yeah. So that's all I was going to say about that. Spray the wood. We're going to get these spray bottles loaded up. If you're having some challenges, just moisten the wood with a spray bottle. And it's like butter. That's what you do with hard oak. Mm -hmm. Spray it. Give it a few minutes. Come back. Make it butter. You should tell that guy, <laughs> the one who has the oak trees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah help. You tell that. All right, I, I will. <laughs> Spray bottle is the root Spray of salvation. <laughs> oak is pretty fast. Yeah. yeah it's going to be pretty fast. But you want a smaller chisel. Uh, mm -hmm. For this, I will get jammed up here real fast. Who's, does anyone have a smaller chisel handy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like this chisel? <laughs> like this chisel. <laughs> I really like Joseph's chisel. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, we're both in love with Guinevere. <laughs> This is the most visible aspect of this joint. This is a window, potentially a window. This is the face of the post here. 
this will be covered by the post this will be covered the tent will be reduced this will be covered this here I cut the most critical part first I when you're cutting you want to know what you're cutting is it visible if it's not visible you you take less time and on that on that part This area here, I'm going to say for my observations this morning, is where most of you need to pay a little more attention to what's called the crush factor. When I say the, when I say the crush factor, when you're chiseling, you'll see over here, I'll demonstrate for you. to have a bench with your tools or a card or something. Yeah. Anything on here is going to be off of here real fast. There are still timber framers in Japan today that do the entire mortise without any drill. It's just mallet chisel. That's all. They remove everything. Just just chisel and mallet. Just like they did initially. Okay, so this is uh, <coughs> if I simply go and place my chisel on this line right now. Over here, and I pound that. The wedge, the wedge shape of this design is going to force the chisel past that line. It's uh, it's guaranteed. At the top or down below it? No, at the top. I think that's what I did in that. Yes, what you did. It. Okay, because I was trying. Most to be of you did it. this. Most of you have done the same thing. So. Am I on the line? Yes. Uh, no. No. no, no. I'm going to take, we call this breaking its back. So I'm going to take, that's as far as I'm going, because I can still get that chisel out. If I kept driving that chisel just now, it would fuse in there so tight that we would need to put a clamps and a, uh, some extraction device to get it out of there. Right, go with the chain. Yeah. <laughs> now that just started to dive, so stop. So the natural tendency is to dive. Because that's the, sh the wet, the bevel is driving you in that direction. So also, also when you're cleaning out, if I press down on that, I'm gonna dent this, right? So this side's another story, it's more forgiving. So be aware of what you're working on.
Be aware of what you're working on. So, back over, just need to open this up a little bit so I can get this wider chisel in here. So this is very helpful, this, this hand close to here. Mm. Very helpful. Harder when you got two hands up here trying to do all this. Use this bottom hand as a guide. So split the line. Your chisel is sharp enough to split that line. Okay, now I'm, did I go for the line yet? No. Not yet. I'm going to get some of this wood out from below it. So I actually went under it. Now, we go for the line. And now there won't be enough wood to force the chisel over. So eyeball that. you know, okay? We'll just continue. Like that, okay? Then that chip's flying, eh? <laughs> you can't tell from there. If you look, if you, you can tell from where you are, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, it's gonna break off. Chiseling with the grain here? Yep. See these lines? Had I kept going, had it finished from that side, I'd be diving in here. So just flip it, flip it. About 60, 70 degrees here, this 60, 70 degrees. Okay, not 45, that's your feed. Why did we do this? Ease of entry. Ease of entry. Because if the pocket is exactly the same size, it's going to be fussy, eh, to get started. Mm -hmm. But this allows it quickly. Right away. Right away, it finds its place and boom, starts. So on, the, on that side, you need to cut it all the way across, right? That's our registration point. Right? Get a blue tape? Yeah. That's our layout. We started our layout from here. I don't know what that was. Somebody started sawing it or or I'm not sure. Okay. So you have this line and this line. So it's simply a matter simply a matter of connecting the two the two planes. So, thumb pressing down, I'm getting some stability from below. And my right arm is my drive here, but I'm pushing with the thumb as well. sound just there? Mm -hmm. So 
so that grain is diving, you see? See how that's diving? See this? Look, Claire, closely, you'll see that fiber is going down. So you have to stop, come from, you have to come from behind. See the line better now? The shadow on it? So this is still high. So this last little part will clean up after we do this shoulder, okay. cheeks, shoulder. So there's no slop there, right? Eh? You see that? If you can rattle it around, you've, you know, it's, it's undercut. Actually back here, look. Yeah, I've got some slop, so it's deeper back here, possibly right there. So this really is, is that it's actually finished. See that? Don't go over. That one's done. Might as well take care of take care of this one right now too. Take those off of there, please. Thanks. Now that's a lot of wood to take in one shot. Now I'd run the risk of splitting a big chunk out of it. If I went for this whole piece of wood here, I went for this one because it wasn't so deep. Yeah. But this, thank you. This one here, the, the wedge shape of the chisel is going to push me past. Mm. So, Done. Same. 180 degrees. You fall. You you go with this system, and you'll have potentially perfect joint every time. So that's the first step. Mm -hmm. Now we, now we really. Sideburns. Get your sideburns. Even with the sideburns, you don't have to go out of your country. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Side burns. Stay inside the country. Wiggle that chisel. Wiggle the handle a little bit. That's what you call a close shave. 
you leave that nice little ridge on there, yeah? On the edge. Leave a little ridge here. Copy yeah, that. Yeah. Well, actually, you can clean that up a bit. Okay, so. sense? Mm -hmm. Feels better, eh? Feels better. Mm -hmm. So now you finish.